My name is Julia Boldolacharty. I have a wonderful family and I'm blessed with extraordinary parents. Um, I'm one of three children and I'm the oldest and I have two younger brothers. Uh, Joey was one year younger than me and I have a 21 year old brother named Michael. Joey was diagnosed with benign Rolandic epilepsy at age three. Um, it's a common childhood syndrome and was supposed to grow out of it by his teenage years. He only sees once or twice, maybe three times a year while falling asleep or waking up. And it was really only when he was super, super exhausted. And my parents were amazing at not letting it define him. So he had a very active life. He was a snowboarder, he was a soccer player. He was an active comedian. I was there when he had his first seizure. He was three, so I was four. I think it may have been easier because it was from a young age because that became the new normal. I was very maternal as a sister, so he would confide in me a lot and I would be aware of the stressors. I would get nervous when he was at the pool all day, even as a young child. I remember being five or six saying like, I need to take care of him, he needs to go home, he needs to sleep. So that was kind of sobering as a young kid. You know, I it was a little bit of a serious thing to deal with. We were partners in crime. I was like the little good angel and he was always trying to outwit people and it was just really a lot of fun being around him. And honestly, if he weren't with me, I would have been way more serious than I already am. And then when he died, I was very lucky because I had just gone to high school. So I was kind of on my own transition path, which I think made it a little easier for me. So the night before, it was just like me and him watching TV. We were kind of joking around and I did end up going upstairs because I had to go to school earlier than him. But I did mention on the way up, like, go to bed soon because like you know what happens like if you don't go to bed I got up early I went to school it was like a gorgeous fall day it was November 4th and I was in first period and the vice principal came to get me out of class I was very involved in school so I didn't think anything of it but then I saw my aunt come into school um, bawling her eyes out and I said okay like this is gonna be an interesting what's going on so we got into the car and I said what's going on who is it and and she eventually said, Joey. And I said, is he alive? And she didn't say anything. I found out that he wasn't coming down in the morning and my mom went to go get him and he was gone. We were told like it was SUDAP and we were like, what? Like, what? It, what is sudden unexpected death in epilepsy? What? I, we've never even heard of this. And like, my dad had asked the doctor when he was originally diagnosed, like, what are the chances that he could die from this? And the answer was, chances are so low, they're not even worth discussing. So when SUDEV kind of just like came into our lives, we were, we felt blindsided. So it was very difficult, but you know, the initial was to kind of grieve and deal with that first. And then now like the activism has kind of happened. It wasn't really till after I graduated from college that I got involved in the epilepsy programs. Um, I started with NYU FACES, Finding a Cure for Epilepsy and Seizures. And it was through them and that community that I really became more vocal about it. And I became more curious about the condition. And I realized even 10 years later when I graduated college that people weren't really still talking about SUDEP. I felt like I was a really good candidate to be the face of it because my brother had such a benign, literally benign form of it that it's really true that it doesn't matter how benign your case is. Um, you really need to be educated and I would never want someone to have to go through what me and my family went through a few years later and my family is now and we're kind of coming together and celebrating his life through these different organizations. I never want someone to have to be in my chair right now because they were not informed about SUDEP. I want them to know that there is no case too small or too big to educate and um, talk about SUDEP. It's hard to discuss with patients and families, and I totally understand that, but I think it needs to be pushed a little bit more, even if it's uncomfortable, because ultimately the patient should know about his or her condition and be, should be able to make good decisions based on what could potentially happen. So just for everyone to kind of establish a dialogue that would potentially work towards a cure in some way. My name is Julia Bodolacharty, this is my story, and this is what makes me remarkable.